especially Miss Cook, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd like to introduce two special guests, Andy Durham from GreensboroSports.com, AM950, uh, everything in Greensboro Sports is <laughs> Mr. Durham. And uh, our athletic director, Mr. Newman. Is <laughs> well, I just want to say thanks and congratulations on your mom and Thank Amber. You. Uh, it's tremendous. Uh, we were just talking about it. I mean, it's unbelievable that we have five of you guys going D1 off the same team. That's just incredible. So we're obviously very, very proud of you and, and just want to offer all of our congratulations and we'll be watching you. All right. Thank, Thank you. I do want to say a few things about Amber. Um, she and Brittany share, I think, one of the most unique uh, accomplishments in, in sports in that since the seventh grade, they've never lost a conference championship. Won two in middle school, one JV, and, and three varsity with no loss. How many games do you lose in six years in the conference? Three or four, maybe. That's that's just unbelievable. Um, Amber was a captain this year. Uh, starter played an awful lot last year, and uh, I think all the girls will tell you how much they respected her, uh, particularly her effort. Um, it's it's very seldom you have a player that you don't have to get on at some point or other about you need to work harder today or quit loafing or whatever. I, I don't know if I ever had to get on Amber about that. Uh, we've got a great work ethic. Work ethic. Um, I think there's a great story about her recruitment. Um, Mr. Valentine, Mr. McKee's dad, actually made the first contact with Maryland Eastern Shore. He deserves a lot of credit in the sense that you know I might never have contacted. I don't, don't know that Amber ever would have thought of him either. Um, but we set a DVD up there, and uh, the assistant coach was watching it and called the head coach and said, come here, you got to watch this. And he says, what is it? He said, she said, it's another point guard. He said, we have two already. Don't want another one. And that's what he said, right? He said, uh, you, you come watch this. Give me three minutes. He said he hadn't watched two possessions. And he said, I don't care if she's point guard or not, we need her. She plays better defense than anybody we got right now. Um, yeah, I think that's a, <laughs> that's pretty telling if you do some things better than an uh, established team already does. And they've already had a winning season. Uh, I was, with Brittany, really like the coaches now. I think you're going to enjoy them. Uh, they're good, solid people. I think they've got priorities in order. And it's just great to have the fifth person get what they were after here um, for next year. So that gives us everybody that you wanted to play or ready to play or whatever, got a chance to play next year. Somebody else wants to, we'll work on that. <laughs> um, a few other folks here. Um, Ms. Shockster, who is a counselor, we've worked together quite a bit for a while now. Uh, Coach Barry made it out of the wilderness or whatever. <laughs> uh, Coach Bullard, we'll see some of y'all a lot next year. And uh, Coach Cuffley's back there. <laughs> Coach Johnson. Coach Anderson somehow snuck in. <laughs> 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 Miss Squire, uh, oh, well, Coach Kessler, I'm not sure what we got him either, but he's at every game. <laughs> and then my wife, who put everything that Miss Cook didn't do, my wife did. I can't take credit. So you wouldn't have had much to celebrate with if it hadn't been for all she's done in the last few days. So I appreciate that. Um, Thank you. Coaches, what, what can y'all add or want to? Well, uh, I had her in middle school, and you know she's very small height-wise and all. Her quickness, agility, and uh, just like you said, work ethics were just unquestionable. And it was just a matter of time that 
she was going to turn loose and, and be the player she was this year. I think she's really improved from uh, last year to the senior year. Yeah, um, I think that uh, I have a little bit different perspective this year, as you all know, watching from the stands. But one thing I noticed in several games, when uh, uh, it seemed like the entire team was a little bit down and maybe even needed to pick me up, this young lady right here did that. And I think on a couple occasions, uh, basically saved the family bacon in the team. You know, with her, uh, just, just, you could just see it inside and that she didn't want to lose. And uh, that's going to carry her a long way, not just in basketball. It's going to carry her a long way in life. Good coaching, Coach Young. Um, when I had her, she took my team to almost undefeated season. She played every game hard, gave her 110% of everything she did. <laughs> 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 Coach Young, you said you known Amber, you know, since the beginning. <laughs> um, great kid. I knew after the first year she, we weren't going to have her anymore just by her skill level and what she could do. And, you know, I'm just real proud of her. Now that's, they didn't even argue to keep Amber. Usually they argue about keeping some players up off the AV. They knew that was hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's a great tribute to Amber's personality and character that all these old folks came back off their holiday. What we got, five last year? Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> See y'all again. Um, all right, Amber, let's put the pen to paper here. I hope it works. I hope it works. I hope it works. You got to go slow. I'm shaking, yeah? So I never your life away. Two brothers here, William and Mike, my sister Kita, her daughter, and her son. <laughs> Y'all know Brit Brit. My sister Toy in the back, my best friend Kanisha. Anybody know me? Bad dog. Okay, thank you. And uh, sister principal, Mr. Christina. Oh, I'm <laughs> 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 
Miss Shackelford and I have raised her like she's our own. <laughs> We're very proud of her. We, uh, I've been here for three years. <laughs> and during that time, during that time, I've dealt with mostly kids who were unsuccessful. And this is one student, athlete, who has not only been successful, but has far exceeded probably even our expectations by being able to sign a letter of intent at a college. And I can't tell you how proud we are of her and her family for what they've accomplished and what she's accomplished. She has come a long way from a girl that I remember riding a school bus and she had a big mouth. <laughs> I had to ride the bus after school and tell her to be quiet. And all she did was raise up her arm and show her tattoo, like I'm afraid of that. <laughs> to a young lady I saw at the prom not more than a month ago that was beautiful and very much a, a woman and ready to go on to represent the school in the world. So we're very proud of her. We're proud of her mom, that her mom still has all her hair. Thank you. Because, because it is a tough family. Yes. They keep you working. Yes. They keep you working. Thank We've got two more, two more boys coming through, and we hope they, uh, they will be up here signing letters as well. But we're very so. proud of Amber. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Before we take pictures, I just want to say one more thing, and that is how much I appreciate Amber not getting caught up in her four teammates signing back in November was it or October and she played and she did what she needed to do for us to be one of <coughs> not the best teams ever been at this school county city whatever um, and she never seemed to get worried about I don't have my scholarship yet or what's gonna happen to me and I would just tell her don't worry everything's gonna work out and, and she can just go about her business and Things have worked out, I think, really well. We'll be very happy. Okay, you want to get pictures with your family and whatnot? And then I'm going to let the girl there. So just tell whoever you want to get up there. Come on, family. Come on.